Hi ladies and gents, how are you? Um, I just want to have a, just a quick little giveaway to <laughs> to celebrate um, me coming back to YouTube uh, crafting. You know, I, I, as long as my computer internet not being down, I, I was a bit down myself. I wasn't, my head wasn't in the right frame of mind for crafting. As you all know, I, I've got a lot of cats and um, I had to, for the health and safety of myself and my child, I had to get rid of them, except for a few. And it was really heart-wrenching because a lot of the cats I had for three to five years, but the good thing is is that they went to um, a place where there's an absolute... 100% no, no kill policy and they're not left in cages um, they're actually put straight into someone's home like a foster home and they stay in a person's room um, uh, until they're found a home so uh, being in a, a bedroom is a lot better than being in a cage so and um yeah so i had a lot of my cats rehoused and um at the end of the day i'm a lot happier because there's not cats everywhere and i know i'm doing the right thing for my daughter's health and, and my health too for that matter and uh, yeah so I, I just mentally wasn't in the right frame of mind to to craft yeah. Um, so anyway, to, to celebrate me coming back, I'd like to um, have a little giveaway. What I was thinking for this giveaway is um, the, the laces that I showed, depending on what video I put up, if this comes up first, then you'll see these laces later. But yeah, I thought for the little giveaway, I'll just um, include just some some of these laces that I showed in my haul recently that I got from Savers I'll, I'll share some of these with you because I just got tons and tons of laces like even though I wasn't making videos or doing anything crafty I was still going to Savers girl and let me tell you like some of the amazing laces that you find there um yeah, like this whole bag. Oh God, I hope you don't see me. Um, yeah, this whole bag is filled <laughs> from savers. And um, to be honest with you, I wasn't sure whether to show you or not because um, I was thinking of putting them in my store, but it's just too much work for me to sit there, take pictures, put in the description, this that, like. I will be there for days, and uh, I, don't, I just don't have the energy, to be honest. Um, but I'll, I'll gladly um, give you a whole heap of lovely laces in my giveaway. Um, if I have a lot of people entering, I'll, I'll do two prizes. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? M maybe I should do the others in a haul or something. Show you. Oh, I might quickly show you here. So, yeah, th this is one of them. Isn't that gorgeous? So, I don't know if this is a good deal for a second hand shop but I paid five dollars for this but I'm thinking even though there's not that much there considering what kind of trim it is it's an elastic satin ivory it's a gorgeous trim I'm thinking it is definitely worth its price let's just see so looks like that's about a yard one two maybe five yards so so if I was to sell this, I bought it for five, I'd want to make ten dollars on it. So I'd probably sell it for like two, four, six, eight, ten. If there's five yards, sell it for two dollars a yard. I, I think that's reasonable. But um <clears throat> but I'd have to actually sell it for more than double to actually for the PayPal fees and this fees and that fees, I'd have to actually sell it triple. So I'd have to get back fifteen dollars on it actually, not ten. So maybe that's like three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, I'll probably sell it for three Australian dollars a yard. Um, I don't know. Like, 
I, I wouldn't mind some advice on pricing or maybe go by two and a half. Now this one is similar but there's a whole heap more and this was $7.99. Um, what I'll do with the winners, I'll actually let you pick. Like um, you can pick from say six different laces and, um, and you know more. Like if there's one more than six I don't mind. I've got heaps. I'll just go through all the laces and these can say I like that blue curly one and I like that crocheted one, you know what I mean? Now look at that, there's tons on here. So if anyone that likes blue shabby chic, you know, and if I've got a lot on the reel, like I'll give you more than a yard, like with this I'll probably give two yards of this one. It's, it's like the first one, but this one's a lovely blue one. Hi, Maddie. What are you doing? Mm. Hey. Hmm. Because I was looking at the broken picture. Oh, did you? Oh, it's downstairs in the cupboard. You know, the lounge room, that little cupboard. Open the thing. The blue computer's in there. $3 for that, bit of a rip off, but um, the trim looks very delicate handmade, and oh my god, these, <gasps> I know you ladies love, <clears throat> love these uh, things, <laughs> they're fantastic, and they're really old and thick, and what a lovely template it would make to make your own. Um, trimmings made in Australia, you can tell it's really old, it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that! And um, it's even got mm, some room to put little chains through it and dangle little beads off it. The dainty little trim, what's that? Um, that's what's wonderful about shopping at Savers like trim like this is like. It reminds me of raiding grandma's closet, yeah? Like, wow. Um, this reel. So, this was $2.99, this reel. Mm, okay, it's very soft. It's like a lilac colour. Anyone that likes lilac? Again, if you were to pick this one here I'll probably give you a few yards from that because there's quite a bit on there and me having got this for three dollars like I'll probably sell like three yards for a dollar on my store for this it's a beautiful crochet you can see like the tiny little hairs coming off it I don't know if it's been hand done yes sweetheart did you find it uh, not yet. Sorry, I'm but just going to pause. Hold on. Downstairs. Yep, sorry. Um, this was $4. Probably a bit of a rip-off. No, not really. Um, there's two lots. There's this lot. It's, um, I suppose if you're buying it in a shop, they'd probably charge you about a, a dollar a yard at least. And... Uh, not bad if you look at it that way is it so there's that one and there's about that much there and then there's this one this is a slightly different style and oh hazel if you're watching i feel terrible i'm so sorry uh i just wasn't in the right frame of mind i said to her, i'll make her a wall hanging for her birthday i still tend on doing that I will. It's going to be a very belated gift, but you will get it. <laughs> okay. So there's that. Okay. Better late than never. That's my motto in life. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, it's very regal. Love this. Um... Not much of it, but um, oh, I'm thinking of Roxy Car 11, Roseanne. 
Um, oh, we, we both love this stuff. Um, the, the Moulin Rouge colours are, are gold and red and black. Um, she'd be frothing. Um, I don't remember if I sent you this one. I hope I did. I'm pretty sure I sent you this one. Maybe if I didn't send you this, it was because it is just too thick for weight. Maybe because it's very thick, this one. Yeah, I had to leave a lot of things out because it would have, when I, I wanted it to be under a killer. Because um, Roseanne won my last challenge. <clears throat> yeah, so her prize wins. And this I paid $4 for. And I got all this for $4. Which was pretty good. I, I think I did send you quite a bit of this rosin. Um, how cute. D dainty little gathered trim. You know what? Um, there's quite a bit here. I, I, I don't know. I don't want to sit there and work out exactly how much I have to sell it for, but I'm guessing maybe 50 cents a yard I can sell that for. Maybe even 40 cents, yeah. Sell two yards for 80 Australian cents, I think would be reasonable. Um, hey, sweetheart, what's wrong? Uh, I plus, thought you were playing on the computer. Plus a, plus I don't know how to press. Oh, everything. okay. Okay. Then I think I, I was a little bit excited from memory when I got this for five ninety nine six dollars. OMG! If you go to Spotlight, ladies in Australia, you know what I'm talking about. All the laces in Spotlight are sold by the meter on reels like this, and on the reels it says how much a meter. And they're not cheap, I'll tell you. And trim, a trim like this, wow, I reckon, what do you reckon, one to two dollars a meter easily. And um, uh, description, why quantity 30 meters, it could be all there, I doubt it, but it should have been a little bit more fuller. <clears throat> It's white, and when the sun hits it, it gives it almost the same colour as this purple one, which is quite odd. But, um, yeah, this is gorgeous. How much was it? Six dollars. Um, that's pretty good, considering, um, yeah. It's, yeah, th there's the thickness of it. Uh, Yeah. Look at that. Um, yeah, there's no point in putting it back in. It's not really covering it, is it, anyway? Um, three. I think I might call this lace haul and <laughs> giveaway. Uh, it's turned into a lace haul, hasn't it? Uh, three ninety nine. Yeah, I don't know whether I should have paid three ninety nine for this. Um, if any ladies out there, is this like bias binding or something? It looks like um something you put on on the hem of some clothing or something, perhaps, or on on the sleeves or whatever. Um, but I I thought it would. <laughs> when I saw this, I'm just thinking of um linings for tags or. Lace books, that's what I'm thinking of. I'm not thinking of clothing. I wish I was like that. I wish I knew how to make clothes. I do have a sewing machine. Should get my lazy bum back into that. I'm using the sewing machine. Um, a few more bits and pieces. Sorry to bore you. Two ninety nine. I remember picking this up for two ninety nine at the Savers. There's a whole heap of gorgeous lace. I don't know if it's um, me or like this part is orange. I don't know if it's because it's old or if it's the lace. But it's a very dainty little trim. Any 
kind of gives off this peach look. <laughs> I don't know if it's because it's uh, just old. Uh, like this, this one here looks peach. Maybe there's two different types of laces in here. Who knows? But, um, oh yeah, like lace like this, I'd probably... Oh, I only got that for a few dollars, didn't I? So, I don't know. Like, I'd probably sell four yards for a dollar of that. Maybe three yards. I don't know. <laughs> um, have to make something out of it, don't you? Now, $4.99. Um, this reminds me of a lovely jeans uh, work. Like, very Victorian-ish. Uh... Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I know I got that for a bargain because um, embroider on glaze and this is embroidered embroider on glaze. This is absolutely stunning. Now if I was to buy this from China, they'd be charging me $2 on my end. So I'll be charging you $4 a metre. But considering I got this for five dollars for all these I could probably afford to sell it for like <clears throat> I don't know maybe a dollar eighty a yard I think it's worth it I mean I can't have it next to nothing because it, because it is a lovely look at that lovely embroidered work on that now I don't know if that's been oh, I must have been done on the sewing machine but look how beautiful it is and, and I remember Sonia talking about how much work goes into making things like this it's so beautiful um yeah so there was uh, quite a bit here this um this is all wow. just, I don't know if you can see that that's <clears throat> the next slot there yeah so that's what I've got of, of that Sorry guys, it's very rude. I'm checking my phone while I'm on here. Uh, okay. Oh. Hi Chad, if you're watching. I doubt it. <laughs> um, okay. I've got a few more goodies. Yeah, and remember you can choose from any of these laces. Oh, this is an old one. Um, can tell by by the fibre content. A hundred cotton percent. Twenty seven price. Twenty seven. Uh, Thirty yards white. Um, so this is a lovely embroider on glaze. I think I paid five dollars for this, and there's quite a few. Here, oh, New York. It's from um, Imported Con, New York, twenty nine West Thirty Sixth Street, New York, one zero zero eight one. Wow! So this is from America, probably back in the eighties or something. Looks like it's from the eighties. Um. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Again, like, see, that's got a bit of a stain there, so I'd have to be very, very careful if I was to sell things like this on my store. I'd have to make sure there's no... I wouldn't sell things like that. Or what I could, could do in the description is put... Um, these have come from an op shop, hence... Um, the, pr the pricing being reasonable and might have a few imperfections maybe but um yeah generally I try my best unless it slips by me to not ever send anything out that is marked obviously yeah my, most of it looks clean it's just the few little odd bits here and there 
which can't be helped but generally it's in a really good condition um, it's very crisp uh, the, the whiteness of it is still there I recommend to anyone who's got a saver store to go there you know there's certain sections um, go to, to your sewing section laces if you want to get to them go in, in the early mornings three now I was absolutely flabbergasted over the moon <laughs> for four dollars I got me a whole bunch of this look how much is it? it's just chockers heaps and heaps and this is really beautiful it's so soft it's one of those trims where it just feels beautiful not like the real silky silky but it's very dainty and thin and very old-fashioned if you love your old vintage uh, this is the trim for you and again um, I'd probably sell two yards for a dollar um, yeah it's really pretty trim One day I'll, I'll get them marked up on my store. Hopefully. I can't believe how many trims. Oh, oh my lord. I don't know where I found this, but that is so weird how it's in a ball. Um, it must have been from the church op shop as opposed to savers because that would have been in, in a bag marked and it's not unless I took it out. Look at that. It, it reminds you something that your cat plays with. Isn't that just gorgeous? A ball of um, beautiful crochet trim. Looks like Nana sat there and crocheted all this. That's just gorgeous. Um, again, probably 50 cents a yard. Um, if I didn't get them for such a good price, I'd be selling them for close to a dollar a yard. But, you know, it seems only fitting to... to um, uh, 199 that's a bit much just for this trim but um, it is Chinese braid and there is a little bit there maybe three four yards let's have a look um, so that's about a yard one two three four yes yeah about four yards one two three, four yards it's an interesting color isn't it uh, it's like a khaki always like that color which isn't bad I could probably sell each one for about dollar fifty one two three four five six okay. um, two more this one's lovely this was two ninety nine and um, oh look at that isn't that just delightful? It's so pretty. It's a beautiful embroider on glaze. And what I'll do so you can see is I'll just take the lace or oh, the ribbon. It's got oh it's a good quality one too. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is a good quality white satin ribbon. And that is the uh, That is the, the, sorry, I don't need my good fabric scissors, yes I do, there we go, these are wonderful, the Fiskars fabric scissors, wonderful, love them, um, isn't that gorgeous, Mommy. hi sweetie, Oh, you bought me a sunflower. Oh, it's broken. It's a bit there too. Uh, again, maybe sixty cents. Beautiful. I haven't really seen anything like that, so I thought I'll give it an extra ten cents. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, and this is the last one, and this is uh, two ninety nine. Um, 
Yeah, so that's how it looks like without the, the, the blue. And this is with the blue. Isn't that pretty? There's a whole, a whole heap of that too there. I think I'll just do that for 50 cents because, um, yeah, embroider anglaise is a lot more expensive, I think, than, say, this type. Um, and that looks like genuine silk. It's like, it's like some type of polyester and like a satin. And that is like, you know, that like hard type of one, but not too hard. It's not the real stiff one. Yeah. Yeah, so thanks all for watching. All, all you have to do to be entered is leave a comment below. Any comment at all. And you shall automatically be entered. And I'll probably draw the competition on Wednesday, which is the 24th of August. The day after my mum's 62nd birthday on Tuesday. So happy birthday, mum. And uh, yeah, I'll do the draw then. And um, if I have more than 10 comments, for every 10 comments, I'll draw one winner. So the more comments, the more winners. Now what I'll do is every seven comments, I'll have a prize. That way there's more chances for everyone. So with every seven people that enter, so if I have 14 comments, I'll do two prizes. If I have um, 16 comments, I'll do two prizes. <laughs> if I have 21 comments, I'll do three prizes. So that, that, that's the way I'll do it, I think. On Thursday, which would be America's Wednesday. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.